Oh, hello, friends. Coming at you from the intellectual archives of the safe house, we bring you another episode of A Learning with the Vegan Zombie. Today's topic, omega fats. To talk about this, my favorite nutritionist, Akshara. Hi. So tell us a little bit about omega fats, why they're important, where we can get them, the whole nine yards. So um, first we'll talk about the omega 3's um, and the best sources that you can get for that are your true nuts, your walnuts, almonds, um, all the seeds, uh, you can get it from flax, uh, you can get it from hemp, uh, hemp seed or oil, flax seed or oil, so these are your best sources for um, omega 3's that are out there and you want to include these in your diet as much as possible, you want to keep these stored properly so that the fats don't go rancid. Um, and the best thing to do for that would be to keep it in, in your freezer. So what exactly does omega-3 do for our body? Yeah, uh, the omega-3 fats are the anti-inflammatory fats, so they put out fires in your body. Um, whereas the other ones, the omega-6s, are the more inflammatory fats, so they start fires. So it's just about if you have more of omega-3s in your body, in a cell, if you have more omega-3s, then any, uh, in case of any injuries, what happens is your body or that cell reacts in an anti-inflammatory way, it just helps in calming things down rather than being inflamed all the time and that's what's happening with a lot of people because of the skewing of their diet with more omega-6s than omega-3s, they're lit up like Christmas trees almost all the time and we just need to take a deep breath and calm ourselves down. Okay, so we need to decrease the amount of omega-6s. Um, what kind of foods carry omega-6? Um, Omega-6s are in your grains, they are in corn, uh, peanuts, so any products that contain corn, corn oil or any of the other processed foods that have corn, uh, peanuts and anything that contain peanuts, so your peanut butter, peanut oil or any of the other processed foods that you get with that in it. Um, so you want to try and reduce those as much as possible in your diet. It isn't that you shouldn't eat them at all, it's just that you want to reduce it. And um, the reason for that is basically omega-3s and omega-6s uh, go through the same enzyme systems in our body. So if they need to be processed, if they need to function, it's one enzyme system. And if you have more omega-6s, as you know, if you take it as marbles, if you have more white marbles, the omega-6s, than omega-3s, which would be, let's say, one black marble in the whole thing, uh, what are the chances that if you have an enzyme system funnel, that the black marble will even go through. It becomes really, the chances are low. And so that's where the problem comes in. So the idea isn't to take one out completely, instead it's to get a better balance. So where our diet right now is mostly, let's say, 25 to 30 molecules of omega-6s to every one of the omega-3, where it's like this, you want to try and reduce the number of foods that have the omega-6s and increase the number of foods that have omega-3 so you can get a better balance rather than trying to abolish anything from your diet. Absolutely. Just get rid of that overcrowding omega-6. Yes. Let them eat halfway. Yep, exactly. Compromise. All part of eating a well-balanced diet. Now, say you're stuck in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and you can't really get access to the omega-3 rich foods, are there any kind of supplements out there for us to take if we're really on the go running away from all those zombies? Yes, you can. And uh, the best one that you can find which is vegan would be um, from Microalgae. Uh, and there are new supplements that are coming out. There are quite a few companies that are out there that are making it now in a really good way. Um, you want to make sure that the companies you look for are GMP certified, so it's Good Manufacturing Practices Certified, and this should be available on their website if you just look up any company. So you should be able to find those and then you know just ask them if you have any questions or let us know and I'll be happy to answer any, but microalgae would be your best form of supplementation for omega-3s that you can find. Well, it sounds to me like omega-3s and 6s are very uh, complex to talk about and we just kind of condense it all. Yep. So if there's any other questions just post your comments below and we'll see if we can answer them for you. Um, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thank and you. Uh, we'll be seeing you again. I'm sure we'll have plenty of other questions for you. Absolutely. It sounds like omega fats are a very complicated situation to be talking about. Absolutely. Um, but thank you very much for trying to make it nice and concise for everybody out there. And if you guys have any more questions, make sure you post them on the comments below and we'll try to get those answers out to you as soon as possible. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.